Heather here from The Unprofessional, and today it is snowing, um, but that's not what I'm gonna show you. I'm actually gonna show you my porch renovation. My front porch had some issues that I needed to deal with, and there were a few things I wanted to update just for curb appeal. The first thing I tackled was the cement slab. The paint was peeling, it was spalled, and it was missing a big chunk right where the slab meets the walkway. I power washed the slab, which took most of the paint off, and then I used a mild paint stripper to remove any of the remaining paint. Although the cement was really spalled, I chose only to fill in the really deep holes. And then I used new cement to patch the hole at the bottom of the slab. The patch job isn't perfect, but after a few coats of primer and some porch paint, it looks pretty good from the sidewalk. I'm going out of order. The door was actually the last project of the four, but it made the biggest impact. I replaced our old metal door, which was dented at the top, with a six panel fiberglass door and updated the hardware. I decided to go really bright with the outside door color, which normally isn't my style, but I really like how this turned out. Now onto the pillars. This was the reason for the project in the first place. The pillars were rotting and splitting and they had to be replaced. As I was doing the demolition, I expected to find 4x4s underneath the old pillars, but instead I found wrought iron. For a minute I thought about restoring them, but they were extremely corroded and not very effective at holding up the porch roof. To remove them, I had to support the roof with 2x4s so it wouldn't fall down while I was putting in the permanent supports. I built new pillars around the supports that had a slimmer profile and less detail. I painted the bottom board surrounding the porch roof white to match, and I like how clean and simple it looks now. Last but not least is my favorite update, the tongue and groove ceiling. This was the hardest update because it involved a very dirty task of removing layers of old ceiling, one of which contained lead, which put a pause on our project. I have a whole video on the tongue and groove ceiling process that you can check out if you're interested. I wired in a new light and called it a day. Well, more like two months, but hey, I never said I was fast. All in all, it was worth the work, nothing collapsed, so I'll put this in the win column for the unprofessional. Thanks for watching. This has been Lara from The Unprofessional. To see written instructions for this project and other DIY projects, visit my website, theunprofessional.com. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe.